Hello, Hello. <laughs> Susanna and Ash, again. <laughs> what we're doing, it's Friday afternoon, and we're kind of having fun going down memory lane, really. Um, we've worked together for quite a long time, and um, we have a couple of different businesses. So we used to have a sourcing business. We don't source for other people now, but it's a really great way as a kind of a person with not a huge amount of funds to get into a property a business, work with investors, learn your skills, earn your stripes, really understand how to do different types of developments. Uh, so we ran that sourcing business for five years and we used to charge a percentage fee uh, when we worked with people. We also did a whole bunch of buy to sells with other people, joint ventures, and uh, we, in fact we've done loads of buy to sells mm -hmm. actually. And so that's another great way of being able to work with investors, not always put your own funds in because maybe you just don't have your own funds, but you've got skill, you've got ability, you've got time, you've got hunger, you've got hard work and graft. So it's, it, we're just doing a review of some of our deals so that you guys can go, well, maybe I might do that too. So what do we have here? Uh, it's this one here. Uh, and uh, we bought it uh, going back a couple of years ago now. Deal 114? Yeah. 114? Yeah. So it's halfway um, through almost? Yeah, very roughly. Um, um, we bought both flats, so um, we bought them off a landlord who was getting rid mm -hmm. for uh, 166 for the two, um, but we actually split them up and worked with two different investors on two different flats, if you like. In fact, um, ah, Jess was one of them, Yeah, which was really cool, wasn't yeah, it? It was her good. very first deal, because we want everybody in our team to also do property mm. as well. And she was very... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, she was good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so... She, she used to come in and go, Woo! Yeah. It's, she didn't really know too much about it, did she? No, <laughs> no, but she <laughs> Just did, did it. But yeah, she did quite well. So yeah, they were did. bought for um, two bed, uh, which is downstairs one, bought for 92 and a half. And the one bed upstairs uh, was bought for 73 and a half. So what happened? The one at 92 and a half, we said in our report, now we produce kind of reports that are about 10, 11 pages long. Oh, can you see? Full of... Um, um, uh, um, we do an evaluation now, obviously mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's always up to the investor but I think it's really useful the way we do evaluations are we give person the idea of what the rent could be we then give the condition and we give we don't give an estimate of the work to refurb because of course you don't know until the builder comes in but what we do is give this and this and this and this is what we perceive as mm -hmm. what's needed because if you're doing a deal sourcing report and you're not the builder how on earth can you give an actual written quote or written estimate so what you can do is say look I think you should do this this and this um, and then the person can go away and figure out how much that's going to cost now ultimately it's their choice really what they do but yeah. and then um, what we do is we, we show how much uh, so where the location is and then we uh, always listed four or five estate agents with their names their brand names their phone numbers so again our investors could yeah. just phone them up and then we listed a whole bunch of solds in the area that are really similar mm -hmm. and a whole bunch on the market yeah. and then we list a whole bunch of um, properties uh, for rent yeah. so by that point you're pretty likely to be within a range an acceptable mm -hmm. well-researched range and that's all you can do as a sourcing business is, is give a, an acceptable well-researched range yeah. about 45 pieces of research so the downstairs we bought for 92,500 we said we perceived the valuation to be 125 yeah. what happened uh, sold it for one well 130 I think it was in the end 130 yeah okay cool so five grand over and then the upstairs um, we, um, we got it for our investor 73,500 we said the a1 market valuation would be a hundred yeah what happened uh, sold for 107 and a half okay so sold for above so why do you value carefully rather than kind of excitedly um we just try and give like a, a range of kind of uh what we think it'd be worth kind of uh done in a straightforward sort of tgpc style so um, which is white walls beige carpet that kind of thing um a start a nice middle of the road kitchen yeah. and a decent enough bathroom where do we get our kitchens from uh, how every time takes 20 minutes to half an hour to design a kitchen mm. super fast in fact here didn't we keep one of I the think kitchens the origi original kitchens we just yeah tiled the, them or something. oh no 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 the upstairs one um we kept and i really didn't like the tiles i thought they were bogging uh, but um we kept them because they were perfectly okay <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, and we put things like you put 14 mil underlay and then cheaper strips carpet but it makes it look rather yeah. feel quite luxurious and we did have an investor day once where we had loads of investors and an ice cream van came by so we yeah, bought ice cream for everybody and we had a whole shoot of ice creams now the difference in the kind of end profit for our investors were, was actually 
um, the accountability for uh, the finance costs. So we as an investing company, we don't pay the finance costs because our investors either come with cash or, I mean, we don't do sourcing anymore, but it's, it's one thing for you to think about being a sourcing agent. Um, it's our investor's job, if you like, to bring the cash. So some folks come with bridging, some folks come with cash. Mm. And the difference in kind of what the investors end up with in their pocket is largely around how they're going to fund it as well as the profit within. So yeah. it's quite clear that we're quite cautious on our deals and actually both of these sold for significantly more than we said, but one of our investors was cash and one of our investors was bridging and boy does that bridging take a bite out of... <laughs> She's on a scooter, come home from school. So um, any other pieces of advice? Ah, we had... Um, we had to, can, you, can you see it? Yeah. School girl. Um, we also had to split the utilities, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Would you like to talk that through? Just if somebody hasn't done a flat before, uh, what yeah, was the score so here? It was on one supply for the uh, for the water. Um, so we had That's to right. kind of split the supply, which is a fairly straightforward thing. So what do um, you do to you split the supply for go water? Go to your local water supplier, uh, in which case this was Bristol Water, and then fill in an application for a, uh, a new connection, I think it was, or, or a, a split of a connection, something like that. Do you remember how much it cost and how long it took? Can't remember. A few hundred quid, yeah. she said unhelpfully. How long? We had to nag them a bit. Of weeks. It w- yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know, it depends. Depends on how efficient your local authority are. Um, so always check with them, but they'll be able to give you good, di- get, uh, good uh, guidelines to work to and that sort of thing. And that was because we bought this from one landlord who basically hadn't split the water because he didn't need to, mm-hmm. and we intended, and we actually did, didn't we? Yeah. We sold them to two different people, and we understand that they're now both tenanted, mm-hmm. so they were sold to people who use them for investment purposes because yeah. they're both, you know, two bed and a one bed, Just really nice, nice flats. Yeah. yeah. Any more ups, downs, things to learn? No, I think it's all right. Okay, so sourcing. You can make money. We did these as joint ventures, buy to sell, uh, mm-hmm. and remember to split your utilities. And remember to get the application in if it's gas, electricity, or water, to get that application in early, because I do remember we did have to get on the phone and go, mm. hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Yeah. for a while. Okay, cool. on to the next. Bye. Cheers.